With the onset of digital photography, people are producing massive amounts of images. Sometimes a person captures an image that stands out from the rest. The following lesson on creating a one image poster layout covers how to create a new Photoshop file, move an image from one file to another, resize an object within a layer, and add a layer style and text. To create a new Photoshop file, click on the File menu and select New. In the New dialog box, set the width to 14 inches. Afterwards, set the height to 11 inches. When finished, click on the OK button. Now to transfer an image from one file to another, we have to open the image that we want to transfer. So let's click on the File menu, scroll down to Open, then select Using One Image.psd. Afterwards, select the Open button. Now back in Photoshop, click on Using One Image.psd's image tab and drag it away from the other tab and float the image in its own window. Then in the Tools panel, select the Move tool. Then using your mouse, click and drag the image onto the blank canvas. Once you've successfully transferred the image, close out of using one image.psd by clicking on the X located in the upper right hand corner. Now to resize the image, click on the Edit menu. Scroll down to Transform and select Scale. Click on the upper right hand corner of the image, then drag it in order to resize the image. Once you've reached your desired size, either hit Enter on your keyboard or the Commit to Operation check mark located in the Options bar. Now in order to move your image, simply click and drag it to the desired location on the canvas. To align the image to the background, while holding down the control key on your keyboard, click on the background layer in the Layers panel. With both layers selected, go to the Options bar and click on the Align Horizontal Centers button. The next step is to add a layer style. We're going to create a blank new layer in order to do so. So first, click on the Layer menu. Scroll down to New, then select Layer. In the New Layer dialog box, click on the OK button. In the Tools panel, select the Rectangular Marquee tool. Click and drag in order to create a selection slightly bigger than the image. Afterwards, let's go to the Edit menu, scroll down to Fill, then in the Fill dialog box under the Contents section, click on the Use drop-down arrow, and select White. Afterwards, click on the OK button. Now the image doesn't seem any different, but what we've done is filled the selection with the color white. That's the only way that you can add a layer style. If we hadn't have done that, then the selection would have been blank. Now the next step is to go to the Select menu and select Deselect to deselect the selection. So the next part in creating our one image poster layout is to add a layer style. There's two ways to do that. First, with Layer 2 selected, click on the Layer menu. Scroll down to Layer Style and choose from the list of layer styles provided. Or you can go to the Layers panel and click on the Layer Styles Flyout menu. And the layer style that we're going to add is Inner Glow. Once the Layer Style dialog box opens, locate the color swatch underneath the structure section and then click on it. 
Now what we're trying to do by using the inner glow layer style is to create a matte look. So in the color picker dialog box, let's select a gray tone. When finished, click on the OK button. Back in the layer style dialog box, click on the blend mode drop down arrow and select normal. Lower the opacity to about 18% and under the element section, increase the size to about 10 pixels. When finished, click on the OK button. Now to enhance the image further, let's select the text tool. In the options bar, click on the font drop down arrow. And select Trajan Pro. We also want to increase the font size to around 36 pixels. Let's open up the character panel and increase the tracking to 100. You can also increase it even more by clicking and dragging right over the tracking icon. Let's click on the character panel icon again. This way we have more space to work. Using your mouse, click on an area of the canvas where you want to start typing. We're going to type Botanical Garden, then hit Enter on your keyboard in order to add some more text to the next line. Type 627-2010, then click and drag your mouse in order to select the entire text. With the type tool still selected, go to the options bar and click on the Center Justification button. In order to align the text to the background layer, hold down your control key and using your mouse, click on the background layer in the Layers panel. Then select the Move tool. And in the Options bar, click on the Align Horizontal Centers icon. Now that we've finished aligning the text to the background, click on the Type layer. To edit the text some more, click on the Type tool. Select the second line of your text that says 627-2010. Then go to the Options bar in order to change the font size to about 30 points. Let's add some space between Botanical Gardens and 627-2010 by clicking right after where it says Gardens and then hitting Enter on your keyboard. After you're finished editing, it's always a good habit to go back to the Move tool.